Hey there, thanks for tuning into this one cool thing video on preventing the amygdala hijack. I'm Mr. Ori, and I really like this topic because as a student, I totally had the test anxiety. I would work myself up and I would experience the paralysis by analysis. I'd be overthinking everything right before I took a test. And this is a really common thing with a lot of our students. And so this is just a cool little tool that I learned from a colleague and started trying in my class and I thought worked really well. Uh, the scenario is kind of based on you know this idea of why do we choke. There's a really great TED talk uh, by C and Leah Baylock, who talks about how her experience as a uh, student athlete who is kind of on the cusp of going pro. And right when she had somebody, uh, a scout, come to watch, she totally choked, and it went on to be uh, a terrible experience for her, but also a formative experience in that she went on to study why we choke and what goes on. And, and we know uh, from, uh, from our own experiences that when we think too much, from the quote, when the pressure is on, we often get concerned with performing at our best. And as a result, we try and control what we're doing to force the best performance. The end result is that we actually screw up. And uh, the science we know behind it is, is the amygdala. And the amygdala is that emotional center of our brain. And when something emotional comes up, it literally hijacks the prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain that does all the heavy thinking, the, the, the real cognitive work. And so uh, if you think about a student who's about to take a test that's really maybe stressed out about that test, maybe they've got a lot going on in their life outside of your class, uh, it can be really hard for them to focus on what you're asking them to do on an assessment, even if they know the information already. And so in the TED Talk, she talks about how they studied this. And I put a quote on here that researchers have shown that simply jotting down your thoughts and worries before a stressful event can help to download them from the mind, make them less likely to pop up in the moment. And so herein lies the one cool tool that I think uh, you could really utilize and, and one that uh, I've tried in the class with really good success. So the idea is that right before a test, just pass out a piece of scratch paper. Now you could preface this by showing maybe that TED Talk or I'll share another video of like what the amygdala takeover is so students understand what's going on in their brain because a lot of times they don't realize what's going on. They don't understand the science behind it. So give them a sheet of scratch paper and give, say, you know, I'm going to give you a minute or two to just vent. Write down anything that's on your mind, all the emotions and frustrations. What's the worst thing that could happen? Just get it all out on paper. And some kids, if they don't want to do that, I say you could, you know, scribble really hard and, you know, draw angry faces, whatever they want to do for a minute or two. Some kids don't want to do it. I give them the opportunity to maybe pause for a moment, do a minute of mindfulness or something like that. And then at the end of that, and this is the most cathartic part of it, they crumple up that paper and I walk through with the recycling bin and they throw it away. And it's just this idea of purging that, acknowledging it, and then purging it. And then basically then I pass out the test and the students are ready uh, to, to begin. And just that little act can really make a difference. And the science has shown that this can help students prevent or mitigate that amygdala takeover and from my own personal experience and experience of colleagues who have also done this it does work so give it a try see if it's something that would work one cool thing that might work in your class uh, if it does let me know give it a comment back in the comments or if you got another idea that might help prevent the amygdala takeover uh, post in the comments or maybe even upload your own one cool thing all right thanks for watching bye